Okay, now that I've done my list for 2016, it's time to look ahead for 2017. These will be my 10 most anticipated movies of this coming year. Now, if you haven't noticed by my channel, I do enjoy the comic book superhero movies, so I'm going to do that part first. It'll actually be half the list. <laughs> Sorry, it's just the way it is. Uh, I got it written down, so I don't forget any. Uh, first one I'm going to mention is Justice League. Now, one of my favorite parts of Batman v Superman was some of the Justice League characters they showed, you know, Aquaman, Flash, you know. <clears throat> I, I'm not sure what to think about how they're going to do Justice League because of how they did Batman v Superman. Like I said, my view some of the parts in that movie I just didn't care for, but I'm still going to watch it probably opening night and I'll probably enjoy it. Okay, Thor 3, Ragnarok. I really liked the first Thor movie. I thought it was a good cast, uh, good performances. The second one, Dark World, was it was fine. It was okay. Not as good as the first one, but it's still pretty good. What I've seen of Ragnarok, it looks pretty interesting, and I'll probably go see that opening night, too. Okay, next is Guardians of the Galaxy 2. If you have not seen the trailer for this, you need to watch the trailer. And the best part, in my opinion, is Baby Groot. I, I liked Groot in the first movie. I don't know anybody who didn't like Groot. But now he's just a little tiny tree. And he's so cute and so funny. And the rest of the movie from the trailer looks pretty good too. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, Logan. One of my favorite characters, comic book characters, superhero characters, is Wolverine. And I've said before that Hugh Jackman is perfect for Wolverine. Some guys are perfect for the role they play. And Hugh Jackman is perfect as Wolverine. And I saw the trailer for this movie, and it looks pretty interesting. He's older now, and Patrick Stewart's in it, and he looks about as old as he is now. And I also like that Johnny Cash was doing the theme song for uh, her in the background. And it, it just looks like a pretty decent movie. I'm looking forward to that one as well. Next up is Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm not the biggest Spider-Man fan. I never have been. But it's got Iron Man in it. And Spider-Man uh, was played by Tom Holland in the latest Captain Avengers movie, Captain America movie. And I, I liked him in it. He was funny, good timing. And I, I liked him in a small piece he was in the film and the trailer it looks pretty good too so i'm looking forward to that now the last one in the comic book movie that i'm going to mention is lego batman and the reason why i mention this is my son who's seven years old he loves all those lego movies he thinks it's they're awesome and uh lego batman should be pretty good and i know he's going to watch that i'll probably take him to see it when it's in theaters and I'm sure it'll be pretty good. The last Lego movie that I saw was pretty good. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Now, that is it for the comic book superhero movies. So I'll get to the rest of them now. Uh, this one, I didn't even know till yesterday that they were making another one. And that's Scream 5. Now, if you don't know already, I'm sorry if this spoils it for you. But the lead character from Scream, Nev Campbell's character, is going to be killed in this movie. I don't know how I feel about that because, you know, she, the whole part of Scream was that she was avoiding getting killed and trying to find out who was trying to kill her. So I don't know what direction they're going to go with that. I haven't seen a trailer before, but right now my curiosity is peaked and I want to see it. Next one is The Mummy. Now, the Mummy, the previous series of franchise, it, it was fine. It was, it was pretty interesting. It kept my attention. You know, not the best movie, not the worst movie. This one is Tom Cruise. Now, I've never been a huge Tom Cruise fan, but I can respect him as an actor. He, he gives the effort. He goes all out when he, when he does a character. So... I think this would be pretty good. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll see a trailer for it and be like, eh, never mind. <laughs> we'll see. 
Now, this one I am definitely looking forward to because I love the first one, and that is Kingsman 2, The Golden Circle. I love the first movie. It was a pleasant surprise. I didn't think I was going to like it that much, but after watching it, I was like, wow, that was really good. Except for Samuel Jackson's list. That was just annoying, but the rest of the movie was pretty freaking good. So I, I think this is the second one will be pretty good, too. Um, I can't wait for it to come out. Now, the last one is John Wick 2. A lot of people love John Wick. I enjoyed it. I didn't like it as much as some other people, but I'm sure he's going to kick a lot of ass and not care about names, so that should be fun. That is it for my 10 most anticipated movies of the year for 2017. And a lot of you will probably be like, where's Star Wars 8, dude? Come on, bro. I can't get excited for it right now. I just can't. And the reason why is because I didn't enjoy 7 all that much. It's basically a reboot of 4, A New Hope. Maybe I'll see some trailers and think that's going to be a lot better. But right now, I just don't care all that much. I'm not a Star Wars guy. I never have been. I enjoyed the trilogy, but I've never been a fanatic. You know, it's just my personal opinion. And I'm sure my list will <laughs> differ greatly from yours. But if you want to post your list and have a, you want to flame me, go ahead. I don't care. That's it, guys. I'm looking forward to 2017 and hopefully a lot of good movies. Better than 2016. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Later.